because of a certain unfortunate accident, your pet turned back into a shape of red fleshy blob. You need to feed him so he can go back into his original size. You have 60 seconds to do so. He will shape himself depending on what you are feeding him. They say you are what you eat. Good morning, everybody. Forever Nini here, and welcome to a game called Overgrown Pet, where basically we feed the pet either vegetables, vegetables doesn't give much nutrients for him to grow, sweets doesn't give him much nutrients but makes him very happy and loves you, or meats are best for him. Certain meats might awaken his feral instincts. That's interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, okay, so meats, vegetable, meats. Okay, so we literally got 60 seconds, so like, oh, he already transformed. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, does that count as meat? Oh my god. Wait, wait, why am I automatically going with meat and vegetable as his main diet right now? Like, I'm not making him happy at all. Just meats, more meats. Oh my gosh, he's actually shaping to be a, 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 a man! Oh my gosh, maybe it's all those human heads I've been sh just giving him. I got 20 seconds left, guys. What the freak? What the actual freak? And the music's like kind of slowing down a little bit, being kind of- The freak did I do?! The freak did you turn into? What are you? Huh? Uh, I guess just giving him nothing but sweets. Or no, no sweets at all. The freak did he turn? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Are you gonna explain yourself? Oh, they are going to explain yourself. Oh my gosh, your pet grown very quickly, too quickly, in fact. Why does this music kind of remind me of Dungarumpa for some reason? Anyways, he says he outgrown the buildings and the city and soon everything is filled with flesh and tendrils. His eyes looked at you. It's harder to read his expression in this form. He's like rooted tree. His teeth tears the corpse with such ease into small bites where it's taken inside of him, probably dissolved. Oh my gosh. He speaks and hums. You could hear him in your head as he's referring himself as Hector. Oh, you have a name. Despite his shape, he's very quiet. And before you know it, the entire city is quiet too. It's either you didn't get to stop him from devouring the whole city in time, or you just think to let him do what he wants. See, he also devour the authorities in here. No one will come to report you. Unless, of course, someone from outside city sees this giant amalgamation. You wonder how big can he grow? If you feed him certain meat, could he devour the world too? Ending, ending Q. Abomination rising. Interesting. Final score 400, food point 337. He has no happiness. What? So I wonder, I wonder. Human flesh 12. So what if I gave him no human flesh? What if I never gave him human flesh, but I stick to the meat and vegetable diet? But like, what the actual heck though? No human flesh for me this time, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and give him regular meats and vegetables. Dang, this is kind of hard, not gonna lie. Like having to like try to skip all the human heads that I really want to give him for some strange reason. Oh snap. Okay, so he already transformed. So is it like a thing where I can just stop giving him food? And he'll stop growing and then I can get like a different ending. We still got 20 seconds left. I'm gonna keep going and see if he turns into that amalgamation again. Ooh! I guess you're gonna have to have some sweet. Oh, he liked that. I forgot. Sweet makes them happy. Oh, nope, 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 nope. He even though he got a taste of whatchamacallit. Okay, interesting. So I guess we got the same ending, right? Interesting, it says he has made your mission easier. He is so easily able to locate your target and by minutes his tendrils turn at you with your target's head with it. It alerts the authorities, of course. They try to kill him, but he devours them quickly. You can't blame him re reacting in self-defense. It looks like you need to take his core and form of small pieces of fleshy blob and start again from the beginning. Before, well, the authorities track you both down. Ending zero. So one of them was rising, the other one's takeover. Interesting. I wonder what the difference was. The sweets? 
The no human flesh? I don't know. How about we try only vegetables and see what how that would go? Vegetables and sweets is going to be your diet. Mainly vegetables. And we, if we don't have any vegetables, then we'll give you a sweet, okay? Hopefully you enjoy that. Hopefully you like that. But so far, you're just eating nothing but carrots. And sweets. Carrots and sweets. I don't think they're gonna grow. Because it doesn't look like... I've been giving them, like, a lot of vegetables. And they have yet to grow at all. So... Oh, gosh! I gave it meat! You're fine, right? You're fine. You're fine. One little meat's not gonna do bad things to you. That's interesting. So they have yet to the grow, I guess. Because they did say that vegetables are not good for it or it does nothing to it or something. Huh. So... I guess he's... Oh, he turned into a doggy. Oh, I got a little doggy. You tried feeding your pet. Now he is as a size of a dog. Big enough to eat the corpses, but small enough to escape the authorities. What is my job? What the freak? Did I not cover what my job is? Although it took him a while to finish his food, you think you'll keep him for a while with his size because he's cute. So adorable. You wonder if you feed him with certain meats, maybe he'll take shape according to what you feed. Doggo ending! That's so cute. So I think we need a balance, a good balance of all three. Um, meats. And, uh, okay, how about meat and sweets? Meat and sweets. That's all we're gonna give it. Meat and sweets. Just meats and sweets. Meat and sweets. Meat and sweets. Like, uh, try to do, like, a combination of both. Try to do as much as both. Like, they're already a little doggo here. Okay. And sweets. Meat and sweets. Meat and sweets. Meat and sweets. Meat and sweets. Get the meats inside your body. Get the sweets inside your body. No vegetables and no human heads. Let's keep going. Yes, instead. <laughs> that made no sense. Oh, he already turned into like a little human. Ooh. I haven't been giving him any um sweets or no meat. I can't feed him too much. No human heads for you, sir. Because I think the next step is when he turns into a tree. So... Okay, so this is a different form than what I've gotten so far. Hello? Oh, gosh. Your pet grown very quickly. He takes his original form while attempting to maintain his humanoid form. You feel like maybe there are some conflicts between how what he thinks he should be and what he thinks he wants to be. You couldn't care less of such philosophical <laughs> topics. Like, who cares what you want to be? Nonetheless, he finished the corpses without trace. In such shape, he stuck himself on the wall like a rooted tree. His fleshy tendrils start covering the house walls. Oh, he's adorable. He speaks and hums. You can hear him in your head as he refers to himself as Hector. He can't really go anywhere without alerting authorities in this form, so he stays in one place most of the time. You give him books to read while waiting for you to return from your work with a corpse and add evidence to dispose. Surprisingly, even with such form, he is very gentle with the book and not once leave a scratch on it. He also likes candies for snacks. He dissolves it using his tongue rather than crunch it with his teeth. Ending J, bookworm half edridge. That's interesting. So that's what happens if you just feed it like no vegetables, sweets, and meat. No human flesh though. I think feeding it human flesh is when it starts to get so dangerous like that it doesn't listen to you. So we're gonna go ahead and just try like a combination of all three. Uh, vegetables and sweets. Meat, vegetables, and sweets basically. Meat, vegetables, sweets. Meat, vegetables, sweets. Yeah, I, I, I messed up. I messed up. I'm already giving him human heads. Oh my gosh. I don't think he should be eating human heads. I don't think he should be eating human heads, but we're going to do it anyways. Maybe he'll turn into something. Sweets and human heads. That's what we're going to do. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. We'll just, give, we'll just keep giving him sweets now. Uh, after, like, now that we just got a couple seconds. What? He turned into that, though? Time's up! Hi! Hector? Your name was? Right? Oh my gosh, your pet has grown very quickly. He seems to start to take shape in more humanoid form. Wow. It makes it easier for him to blend in with the crowd, thus easier for him to hide from the authorities. 
Though his shape is not perfect, people might notice him sooner or later. You'll have to be careful. He starts speaking to me like as if he's a human instead of gurgling noises and refer to himself as Hector. Oh, the little heart! But it's like there's like a neck, there's, there's a tongue down here, but the little heart. Heart Hector, I heart Hector, it's so cute. He grows an affection towards sweets. He said something about like to eat sweets with his human mouth. Where he can taste the sweets and sugar, he also said it tastes different than eating it with his other mouth. He can't really understand what he meant, but you think you'll start buying extra sweets every time you stop by the grocery store since he has been a very good boy. Sweet Tooth Humanoid. Interesting! So human heads are actually pretty good to make them human. That's good to know. We should start feeding it more human flesh. That's great. <laughs> Okay, so sweets and human flesh as soon as I see it. As soon as the option pops up. So I gotta give it like lots of meat so it can grow. And then as soon as the human flesh comes in, we just gotta give it as much human flesh as we can. Human flesh is good flesh. Oh gosh, I missed. Oh, I gave it a vegetable. Freak. I messed up. I already messed up. This this baby's not gonna come out good, guys. I mean, my, my pet's not gonna come out good, guys, at all. Oh no. Oh no, guys. I think this is just the end of the line. Usually if they turn into this shape, they can't go back to a human. Okay, so I think I understand. I think I understand the, the ways of this. Right, guys? I think I'm starting to understand it. Whoa, despite this shape, he is very quiet. And before you know it, the entire city is quiet too. What? He didn't have this last time, did I think it's all the human flesh that I was giving him. It's either you didn't get to stop him from devouring the whole city in time, or you just, okay. Perhaps it's more of the latter, since he asks you if you are okay with the whole city gone. <laughs> you shrug and you pet you pet him. Since he also devours the authorities in here, no one will come to report you, unless, of course, someone from outside the city sees this giant amalgamation. You wonder, how big can he grow? If you feed him certain meats, could he devour the world? For now, you went to nearby empty dessert shops. Okay, you and your pet could only use... Okay, interesting. Good big dog. That's literally what... Just good big dog. Okay, so that is very interesting. There are so much different endings to this. Like, Okay, so the thing I was saying before, vegetables don't do anything. So if I... Okay, so basically if I don't... I gotta give it meat and sweets until he turns into like until they start giving me the option for humans flesh they don't give it to me yet so i kind of have to keep giving him meat until i get some human flesh there we go so just human flesh and vegetables from now on human flesh and vegetables let's see what happens if you just do the human flesh and vegetables and sweets occasionally of course guys sweets occasionally no more regular meat we're just gonna do Oh no, is there not? Oh, okay. Oh gosh, I don't think I have enough time though. I'm, I'm, I'm very slow at this. My, my mind is not computing what's going on. But let's try to give them as much. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm not gonna make it in time. Dang it! His flesh are weak against heat. One time he actually burned himself. It smells like roasted beef. So you start teaching him how to cook sweets that do not require fire. Oh, so there's like another ending. Ending L, sweet tooth, half Eldrick. Okay. Ah! So I'm gonna see if what would happen if I just sit here for the 60 minutes and I just or 60 seconds and I don't give him anything. He just sits there and looks at me while I'm looking at him while he's looking at me and I'm looking at him. Okay, so time's up. So let's go ahead, get into this and see what happens when you just let it go. We don't give him anything. Little blobby! You tried feeding your pet. It didn't go as well as you thought. Nothing changed with his size. Well, at least he is pocket size. So you can hide him in your jacket pocket while you look for a proper meal for him. You should feed him with more meat if you want him to grow into something big. Ending A, tiny. He's got nothing. Interesting. Oh, wait, what? So what I did differently this time, basically I gave it, I focused on giving them a lot of meat and as soon as they turned a little doggy form, I only gave it human heads and vegetables. So, uh, excuse me? Um, hi. I didn't give him any sweets either, so... Your pet grown very quickly. He seems to start to take shape in more humanoid form. 
This humanoid form are clean like an actual human. Only downside is that certain mouth linings are hard to be hidden. So you turn him into a mummy. It works really well. Now you don't have to think how to carry the bodies to him because he can immediately do his job to depose the bodies while in your side. It's very time effective, really. He starts speaking to me like as if he's a human instead of gurgling noises and refers to himself as Hector. As long as he eats the bodies and leaves no evidence behind, he can refer to himself whatever he wants. Not only that, he also mannered like a human. He is very well mannered that I don't think anyone would ever put a slight suspicion that he might not be human. But you think he might start doing the killing behind your back. While you do not want to turn non-targets into clumps of flesh because it would be a hassle, he did everything by himself. Of course, you reprimanded him since missing people could make authorities alert and make current missions even more difficult. He seems to understand that and told you that he might need to hunt something else to satisfy his urges. You start suggesting his him animals. There aren't much bears or boar around here, but there are plenty of rats and wild cats. Okay, ending I strong urge. That is interesting. So that's basically why I, I gave him no happiness and just gave him a bunch of meat until he turned into like a, a, a dog and then just gave him only flesh. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, this time I'm just gonna incorporate some sweets in there and see what that happens after that. Okay, so I started giving him some um, sweets this time. So maybe he'll like like me. <laughs> oh, there we go! Doing job together like this gives him more time to be with you, in which he often starts a conversation, either from curiosity or pure boredom. He asks a couple of times, what do you think about white chocolates? <laughs> he has an interest in cuisine and maybe start reading about those somewhere. He starts asking you if you could start extra hunt since he has strong urge for meat. You don't want to take extra missions because it's a hassle, so you try to give another solution. You start offering him sweets in which he works the last time you tried it. So it has to work now. Of course it is. Since that day on, you start scheduling dessert parties on your calendar for you and him. Ending age dessert. I feel like that's Loki the best. I feel like this is probably the furthest he is or the closest he is to human because they literally said, oh yeah, like he could actually go outside and do stuff with you. Like, I think this is like his closest form. I don't think there's another form maybe. But anyways, guys, you guys can actually try this game out yourself. It's free on itch.io. Oh, I'll leave the link down below in the description. It feels like there's like gonna be like so many different endings. I don't even know how to get them, but I do feel like I at least got one ending in each form. So I feel like I kind I I'm kind of good and I've successfully created my new boyfriend. I mean, um, pets, pets.